Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Supergeek and today we have OnePlus 7 with Android Q beta installed. This is the third developer preview of the Android Q which OnePlus has released for OnePlus 7 and 7 Pro. Today we are going to take a quick look at all the new features which OnePlus is going to provide in the next Oxygen OS build based on the Android Q. Stay tuned. So let's start from the home screen. The home screen is pretty basic, nothing changed. It's just like before. The notification drawer is similar, nothing changed. The app drawer is also similar, nothing changed there. The shelf thing is still here. You can add your widgets and all. The main changes are in the settings. So let's head into the settings first. Go to the Wi Fi internet. So this feature is called sharing your Wi Fi password without giving the actual password. So what you have to do is tap on your connected Wi-Fi network, tap on the share icon and verify your identity. In this case, it's fingerprint sensor. So let me just do that. And as you can see, there's a QR code right here, which will help your friend to connect to your Wi-Fi network directly without entering password. So the Wi-Fi password is also written right here. You can use that too, but using QR code is much simpler than entering password. Other than that, there's nothing much in Wi-Fi and internet. So let's go back, go to the Bluetooth and device connection. And there's nothing much new here too. Just Android Beam, car screen is just similar. Printing is similar, Chromebook is similar. There's nothing new. Now, go into the display and you see the adaptive brightness settings. It's not new. Screen calibration, it's not new at all. So there are some new features in ambient display. So as you can see, there is a new feature called smart display where, you, where it shows your media player right into the ambient display and your calendar event. The current Oxygenos version doesn't have it. It's in the beta and it shows media player and calendar events right on your ambient display. So apart from this smart display feature, there's nothing new in the ambient display. So let's go back and screen saver status bar that's not new now let's go into the customization this customization is the new thing which oneplus has provided in the android Q. so let's go into that and as you can see there are bunch of new features bunch of new customizations which you can do in your oxygen os the upcoming oxygen os based on android Q. So first is the themes. So it just changes the theme and the accent color, the tones according to your needs. After the themes, there is this lock screen customization where you can change wallpapers. As you can see, there are a lot of wallpapers. You can change wallpaper, you can change clock style. There are three, there are two clock, three clock style, and you can completely disable that too. So I'm gonna go with this one and let's go back. So after that there is this fingerprint animation so fingerprint animation now moved here instead of the lock screen and notification centers so you can do that here too you can go with one of these three or none you can you can just disable the animations if you don't like it i'm gonna go with ripple and let's go back after that there is this horizon effect feature well it's not available for one plus seven it's just previewing you how it going to look on your oneplus 7 pro because oneplus 7 pro comes with the curved screen feature oneplus 7 is just a plain display so this is not going to work and so oneplus will remove these from the oneplus 7 but as it is a beta so it's still here that's it it's not going to do anything just select anyone and go back Okay, after that, there is this system customization feature where you can change your accent color, tone, shape, icon pack, and font. So let's go into the accent color first. So you can change your accent color. Here is the preview, which is going to tell you how things will look after changing the color. So I'm gonna go with this one. You can change any color. You can select anyone from these default ones, or you can change it to a custom color according to your needs this one right here it looks pretty good so the next one is tone 
here you can change the tone of your user interface there's this colorful one the light one and the dark one select anyone and tap on done after that there is the shape thing where you can change the shape of the quick setting toggles and these pop-up settings you can select square round teardrop or round rectangle i'm gonna go with round and tap done so everything is going to go round after that there is this icon pack so icon pack has been moved here instead of the home screen settings well you can do that from the home screen settings too so you can change the icon packs there is this basic from the oneplus so these are from the android q these five are from the android q you can go for square teardrop squarish roundish and round i'm gonna go with round and let's head back after that there is this font thing you can change the font there are two available for you to do i don't know if there is going to be custom font thing or not but but right now there are only two fonts available so let's head back and after that there is sound and vibration nothing new there and then button and gestures so let's move into the navigation bar and gestures here you can see there are three three options to choose from uh, the first one is the fixed navigation bar which is which I'm currently using after that there is back and home it is that pill thing which Google released with Android Pie I'm not a fan of it because I have to swipe twice to get to the app drawer which is kind of annoying after that there is this navigation gesture these are pretty glitchy right now because we are still in beta but these are the default navigation gestures which google is going to release with android q so let's see how these works so these navigation gestures works just like the huawei's navigation gestures so let's see how this works uh, let me tell you that these are still glitchy because we are still in beta mode so let's open play store so as you can see oneplus launcher is crashing when i'm using these navigation gestures so all you have to do is swipe from bottom to go to the home screen swipe and hold for the recent tabs and this new thing where you have to swipe from the right or left to go back this is just like the huawei's navigation gestures all right i'm going to switch it back to the fixed navigation bar those are still glitchy and annoying so let's go back after that there is the security unlock screen and i don't think there's uh, anything new in these settings so let's go back after that there is battery storage apps notification google utilities system about everything is pretty basic after that there's nothing new in the settings let's head back to the home screen and so now i'm going to show you a new feature called game space as you can see oneplus has provided game space in android q where you can add or remove your games just like just like any other smartphone brand which are currently doing uh, now you don't have to launch game every time you have to change the game settings now you can do it in this game space you go to the settings settings are not new just like before but there is a new tab where you can enable or disable fanatic mode before even before launching any game you can enable disable traffic optimization you can change the notifications and that's pretty much it you can start the game and that's it so there are some new things in the screen recorder uh, some new features as you can say you can now record your screen up to qhd there is this new setting where you can record up to 60 fps you can change the frame rate of your recording it's not limited to 30 fps now you can record it in 60 fps and qhd plus apart from that there is nothing new in the android q for oneplus 7 and 7 pro so that's it for now guys hope you like the video hit the like button get subscribed and i'll see you in the next one